Ah, welcome. So glad you could make it to your unique devotion. Oh, there it is. Unique devotion. Okay. Uh, today, we're going to go, we're back at the beginning of 1 John. So the book of 1 John, we're in chapter 4. And this is entitled, The Spirit of Truth and the Spirit of Error. And then the question. So here we go. If you got your listening ears on. Now, he who keeps his commandments abides in him, and he in him. And by this we know that he abides in us, by the Spirit whom he has given us. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God. Because many false prophets <clears throat> have come out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are of the world, therefore they speak as of the world, and the world hears them. We are of God. He who knows God hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Not the spirit of error. Error. E-R-R. O R. <laughs> it's important. Um, the question in its complexity. <laughs> I'm not simple here. <laughs> Do you test the spirits? In this case, the spirit of truth, the spirit of error. Um, <clears throat> truth, if you remember, is in accordance with fact or reality. Fact or reality. Um, so sometimes what we think is truth is, is guessing, um, like, like gossip. When you hear it from someone else, you, you tend to take it as truth and go, oh, that person is, ugh. But in reality, it might not be 100% correct. Um, so this is where the spirit of truth needs to be cultivated. Um, well, let me, let me explain something. If you are loving someone, um, in action, being kind to them, generous, not judging them, um, being patient with them, if you're walking in love with them, that is being in the spirit, the spirit of love. It happens to be a strong part of the Holy Spirit. If you're, if you're, Walking with someone and you're, you're mad at them, you're, you're, you feel yourself angry, heading towards hatred, you're walking in that spirit, the spirit of anger. You're walking in the spirit of hatred. So there's a, a bit of a bodily feeling to it. And I say this because you can separate them and, and get a better understanding of them so that... <laughs> When you're walking in the spirit of truth, you kind of will know what it feels like versus the spirit of error. <laughs> um, another example of the spirit of error. So you're at work. You're working on a job. And instead of asking questions, you start assuming what the other person is thinking. And even though you may be right sometimes, more often than not, you're not thinking 100% of what they're thinking. You're slightly off. And then it causes confusion. And it causes uh, issues. It causes um, anger, <laughs> frustration. Um, that is walking in the spirit of error because you don't really know. But if you ask the questions, if you open yourself to being, to not judging them, to not guessing, to not gossiping, you end up walking in the spirit of truth because you ask the right questions and now you know what they're thinking and can move forward. 
so that's that's kind of a deep thing this is something that needs to be cultivated just like the holy spirit and walking in love and kindness and patience not being rude not being judgmental all these things are a strong part of the holy spirit and when you're in them you are in the holy spirit <laughs> but there are also other spirits like i just talked about the spirit of error the spirit of anger the spirit of hatred the spirit of rudeness um spirit of gossip okay there are different things but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to focus on just testing the spirit of truth versus the spirit of error because I know that I'm going to come across it one way or another today or my mind's going to go to places where it shouldn't and I know I need to stop and talk and ask people what they're thinking before I create wrong action so that's some deep stuff um you know, I tend not to get too specific, though I got a little specific because everyone's circumstances are different, and I want you to be able to take this and put it in your own life. Um, but if you have a specific question, you can always put in the comments below, or my email is down in the D box. Along with your pump up music, don't forget that if you enjoy electronic dance music, uh, it's a good one today. And uh, on that note, I hope God gives you all the blessings you deserve. Even more so, all the blessings you don't deserve. Have a wonderful day. I hope to see you tomorrow.